Hi, and welcome to the Kane Gang. My name is Lou, and I have been physically or mobility disabled, whichever you'd prefer, for 15 years now. Prior to my last spinal cord surgery, I was told I would be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I was 49 at the time. I refused the doctor's diagnosis, and I set out to walk again after the surgery. I started off with a walker and eventually graduated to a cane, which is how I still get around today. I say that I am blessed beyond measure and thank God every morning that I can put my feet on the ground when I get up. In this series, I'm going to discuss how to deal with and navigate so many of the obstacles physically disabled persons encounter every day in their homes, vehicles, workplace, shopping, eating out, traveling on vacation, and so much more. I'm going to share with y'all the hacks, tricks, cool gadgets I have discovered in my journey after I became disabled. So if you or someone you love or someone you know is facing becoming disabled or has been disabled for years, I'm hoping I can share with you what I have discovered over the years to overcome some of the world's obstacles. I'm going to show you how to select, size, and use a cane correctly, how to set up your home with grab bars, both permanent and portable, what to look for when looking for a new home that will be suitable for your specific needs. I am actually a licensed real estate agent and I am very knowledgeable when it comes to modifying a home to make it safe and easy to maneuver. Every disabled person's needs will vary depending on their specific issues. So it's important to remember that you will have to be willing to adjust your lifestyle and that trial and error is a huge part of figuring out what will and won't work for you. The biggest lesson I learned was to learn to be very flexible and adaptable. Everything you did before you became disabled will be different now from when you get up and down out of a chair to getting dressed, becoming mindful of surroundings when you go somewhere new or unfamiliar. We will also talk about ADA and what you need to be aware of with respect to seeking and requesting reasonable accommodations. A little about myself, I am medically identified as a partial paraplegic or incomplete paraplegic, which simply means I have some feeling and mobility in one of my legs, which in my case is my right leg, and no feeling or mobility control in my left and all the way up to my chest on the left side. I also have very little ability to keep my balance a lot of the time. I like to say that I don't walk fast and I don't walk pretty, but at least I'm still able to walk. As we go through this series, I'll be sharing with you the good, the bad, the funny, and the ugly of the journey I have been on and how it has affected my family and friends. I also have a ton of stories I'll be telling y'all as well. I have seen, heard, and experienced a lot. I spend a lot of time in the Word of God. I believe Jesus died for my sins and rose again to give us eternal life. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you will hear a lot of my testimony as I do believe God deserves all the glory for the blessings that he has given me. I am continually in prayer, and yes, I have asked for God to heal me, for I do believe he still heals as well. But sometimes God's answer to our prayers is no, and he's still able to use me just as I am, as a testimony of his power, that I am still able to walk, even though I'm not supposed to, for the amount of nerve damage I have suffered in my spinal cord. I truly consider myself disabled and not handicapped. The term handicapped to me means less than or a disadvantaged, and I definitely don't consider myself less than or disadvantaged. I'm looking forward to sharing with y'all what I have learned, but I also know that some of y'all out there have a lot to share as well. So please don't hesitate to leave your suggestions or ask any questions in the comments section. If I don't have the answer, I will certainly try to find the answer for you. As a disabled persons, we need to realize that we are in this together and to lean on one another as we can. 
If you are assisting someone who is disabled, first let me say bless you for what you are doing. I would not have made it if it wasn't for my loving and understanding wife, children, grandchildren, and awesome friends. Second, you may find out like I did that there are very few resources to turn to for aiding disabled persons, so don't hesitate to seek assistance or just ask here. There will never be any judgment here. There is no such thing as a dumb question. If you don't know the answer, then how else can you learn? If you like this video or you got something out of it, then you know what to do. Until next time, take care and be blessed.